The moon is a hole cut through the sky You can reach up in touch if you cover one eye Well that's just your way of seeing the night That's just what you'd say And I guess you'd be right Well, it's not that I'm wrong, but sometimes I get sad. I just feel things so strong when they start going bad. When magic is stripped like coal from the world, I tripped and I slipped and I lost my girl. Well, I still have the moon and I'm grateful for that It's been a rough June but I'm still on the path And all things must pass From heartache to home But the world moves so fast And I feel so alone The spell has been cast, it's all set in stone These boots never last, my feet are to roam And I'm here on the lip, on the edge of the world The mysteries reveal, but I still miss my girl I'm here on the lip, on the edge of the world, the mysteries reveal, but I still miss my girl. It's going to be a compound question? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Well, my father was a DJ. I was a little kid. There was, there was all the records around, headphones. So I would listen a lot to, when I was a little kid, I would listen the records that I was always listening to because I'd always listen to the same ones. And it was... He had that double album of the Beatles, 1967 through 70, that had like Strawberry Fields and all of the psychedelic kind of Beatles music. And I would just listen to that endlessly, like what is going on with this music? It's so amazing. And um, the other record that I listened to all the time was actually a country record by this guy, Kenny Rogers. I think it might have been, it was Greatest Hits. And it had this song, The Gambler. It's kind of cheesy 70s country, but it's really great too. And that kind of was my first like love for, uh, you know, so I was getting the early childhood impression, impression on your brain uh -huh. of like the real psychedelic and um, uh, artistic approach to production and songwriting that was there with the Beatles. And then I was getting this big appreciation for country music and the simple kind of country song in that form. And then the other record I listened to all the time, endlessly, was uh, an album Car Carlos Barrage. And it was Guitarra Portuguesa, a really famous album from him. 
And that album just blew my mind, you know, it's just the most incredible instrumental mm -hmm. uh, Portuguese guitar music. So then, and that's when I started playing music with the Grateful Dead and, uh, and Pink Floyd, Jane's Addiction is in that era and 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 then my taste really became more formulated you know once I started playing music I studied with jazz guitarists and jazz teachers and uh, and so my mind got really opened up to jazz music and that became um, kind of a central focus in terms of how I wanted to learn even though as a songwriter and as a musician I was never a jazz musician but I always learn from jazz musicians. And I always kind of wanted to bring a jazz kind of approach into the folk music or into the music that I was playing, especially live, you know, a conversation between the musicians. When I started recording on four track cassettes, I was uh, introduced to a whole world of music that was uh, lo-fi or DIY music, people like Bonnie Prince Billy, at the time the Palace Brothers, but Will Oldham, Daniel Johnston, um, and that, that stuff was really a big influence on me because I realized, oh, music doesn't have to sound like this super produced thing in the studio. You can make these really cool records, you can make really cool art with whatever limitations that you have. One of the biggest influences in my life has been the people that I've met along the way. It's been, I mean, that's a, that's a very good point because uh, I don't, as much as I can, I don't live my life outside of myself and I feel that the most important people in my world are the people around me, you know, like I'm the president of my country and all my friends are like, uh, you know, the ministers or something of my life or something, you know, or you know, it's just it's like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. that's a clunky metaphor, but the idea is I don't, I don't feel like all the superstars are the important people and I'm on the periphery, I've always felt like, no, like, I'm, I'm living a magical life with magical people. Those are the people that I attract and that I am attracted to. And they influence me profoundly. like to get back to living on the land man working on a farm walk away from this rock and roll band well I tried to explain but you wouldn't understand man or maybe you would but maybe it's better that you don't Well, I had it all and lost it I watched it slip away Now I keep it on the inside Where it can get away I'd like to get back to planting in the moonlight Working on that farm, walk away from this Greenwich time Buy a ticket on the plane, leave the keys in the van Stand, they say it's gonna rain, it still happens from time to time Well, I had it all and lost it I've watched it slip away Now I keep it on the inside Where it can't get away I had it all and lost it I've watched it slip away Now I hold it on the inside Where it won't get away
Oh man, now I'm getting called out on the on using the same words. Actually, there's a drink, a Trans Van Santos drinking game that uh, every time you hear certain words, you have to take a drink. So it's like broken, mountain, wind. I think the whole thing is writing about the life. I still write love songs because that's part of like the complications of life, sure. but I try to do it through a perspective of, it's through that perspective. Old coats next lovers in suburban ennui in the church pews lined up in the shape of peach trees and the bottles are empty and your letters are torn but old coats and ex-lovers Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm There's a thousand truck stops Between here and you And the lights of Las Vegas And the Grand Canyon too And the bottles are empty And your letters are torn But old coats and ex-lovers Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm Old coats and ex-lovers ain't keeping me warm my life as an artist it's changed you know um, you know early on when I was starting there sometimes would be like um, I feel like I was in a fight with the audience sometimes because also some people were like quit singing don't quit your day job you can't sing and things like this you know and heckling me from the stage you know uh, that shifted a lot as I became more comfortable with myself but the audience is such a big part of it I'm really grateful when it connects with people when someone wants me to like play songs for them, it's, the kind, it's like sustains you, you know, it's like a beautiful thing. I mean, music is the way that I communicate primarily, you know, and so when someone feels that, it's like, oh, I'm talking, you, you hear me talking, like I'm communicating, you know, like there's some kind of message or some kind of idea or spirit or essence, human essence that's being communicated through the music, they hear that. So you like, it feels good because you're communicating. Woke up this morning, put on my slippers, walked in the kitchen and died. And oh, what a feeling when my soul went through the ceiling And on up into heaven I did right When I got there they did say Sonny, it happened this old way Where you slipped upon the floor and hit your head And all the angels say right before you passed away These were the very last words that you said you said, please don't bury me down in the cold, cold ground. 
I'd rather have them cut me up and pass me all around Throw my brains in a hurricane and the blind can have my eyes The deaf can have both of my ears if they don't mind the size Well, give my stomach to Milwaukee if they run out of beer. Put my socks in a cedar box, just get them out of here. Venus to Milo can have my arms, look out, I've got your nose. Give this guitar to the Hall of Fame and give my love to Rose. But please don't bury me down in the cold, cold ground. I'd rather have them cut me up and pass me all around. Throw my brains in a hurricane and the blind can have my eyes The deaf can have both of my ears if they don't mind the size The deaf can have both of my ears if they don't mind the size Within like American Indian tradition, the name that you're given at birth is not the name that you end up with, you know. I think with my personalities with Trans Van Santos, Sunny Santos, Mark Matos, these are kind of like all the multitudes I contain within myself. These names have, have stories and with Sunny Santos, it was a nickname from my band O Speeches, our, our tour manager, uh, road manager actually, road manager, driver. Uh, Max Johnson, he gave me that nickname and he would call me Sonny Santos. And it was kind of because it was a Trans Van Santos thing and then Mark Matos, Sonny Santos. It felt like, you know, so he did like, hey, Sonny Santos, Sonny Santos. I, got, I like that. I like this Sonny Santos. And, and then with that one, it's kind of like uh, almost like the older version of myself, you know. All of these years later, all the experiences I've had, the good times, the hard times, the psychedelic times, the, you know. So in some sense, I would say, like, Trans Van Santos, as a part of my personality, um, was very specific to a particular time in my life. And, uh, and that particular specific person is not really there anymore. But the S, there's still like, that's still a part of me, moves around, you know. You're not the same person you were when you had that crazy, jealous argument with your girlfriend in 2006. This human essence that is the thing you're always uh, uh, building kind of everything around, around or something, yeah. or tearing things apart to be more mm -hmm. uh, open and for your essence to come out. What's the matter with the shit I say? What's the matter with how slow I play? What's the matter with the boys and girls? What's the matter with this weird world? Can't you see? I'm just a raven in distress. It's plain to see. I'm just a raven in distress. What's the matter with the way I look? What's the matter with the food I cook? What's the matter with let it be? What's the matter with keep it free? I'm just a raven in distress. Can't you see? I'm just a raven in distress.
It's a matter with how hard I buy Out of mind and out of sight What's the matter with a little lie? No left and right, I don't want to fight I'm just a raven in distress Can't you see? I'm just a raven in distress It's plain to see I'm just a raven in distress I'm just a raven in distress For me, with music and my and life, it is definitely about uh, remaining excited and keeping the electricity in there and wanting to grow and uh, wanting to always uh, go through these transformations and these transfigurations. And I like this idea in the modern moment of like man and machine. You know, there's this kind of conversation going on between the man and the machine. You know the the, you know, and I say man in the old-fashioned way, meaning man and woman, man. the human and the machine. <laughs> so I was already having these ideas that it would be cool to, to bring in these, these other elements to push yourself artistically, to get yourself involved in projects that are maybe not comfortable in the beginning. It 
was the season going down dying young it was the season going down and dying young Going down and dying young Going down and dying young Thank <laughs> you. 